Hello world, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to encrypt and decrypt passwords in PHP. And no, this is not a super hacker math tutorial. Instead of scaring the beginners away, this will be a simple guide on 4 ways to protect passwords in PHP, minus all the difficult stuff. First, let us start with a pair of functions that PHP provides, password hash and password verify. This should be self-explanatory and easy to use. To encrypt the password, we simply use password hash and pass in the clear password. But for you guys who want more control, we can also specify the algo in the second parameter. Then to verify the password, we use password verify. Match the login password against the encrypted password. That's all, but please take note that this is a one-way encryption. Once encrypted, there is no way to decrypt and get the original string back. Following up, we have a method that uses OpenSSL encryption and decryption. Start by defining the secret key. Keep this safe in a secured config file somewhere. To encrypt the password, we use the OpenSSL encrypt function. Passing the clear password, encryption method, and the secret key. For the full list of encryption methods, we can use the OpenSSL getCypher methods function. Moving on, verifying the password is a little different. We have to first decrypt the ciphered password. Then compare against the login password. Yes, OpenSSL is a two-way encryption. We can also use it to secure other sensitive information such as credit cards and addresses. Next, this third method is a rather traditional one. First, we start by generating a random string. This is what the security guys like to call sort. To encrypt the password, we simply use the decrypt function, pass in the clear password and sort. To verify the password, things are a little bit confusing. We have to run the decrypt function again on the login password and encrypted password. Then match it against the encrypted password using hash equals. This final method is kind of a negative example. Start by using the md5 function to create a hash of the clear password. Then to verify the password, we have to use the md5 function to create a hash of the login password. 
if the hash of the login password is the same, then it is a match. While this method is fast and easy, it is highly not recommended. Because with the computing power we have today, unsorted MD5 can be easily cracked. That's all for this short tutorial. If it has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more. See you in the next one.